What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, you know, I really want to talk about this situation with Exhibit. Exhibit is a Detroit-born rapper who reps the West Coast. And as he says, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. And of course, where he is, is in a um, sort of a difficult situation. We've seen him on Pimp My Ride. And then after his career doing that show, he went into um, the cannabis business. Now, let me talk a little bit about the cannabis business. It's a pretty unique taboo industry. And it, if, it, it falls under different regulations than, let's say, your normal business. All right. Meaning that like most banks won't touch a uh, cannabis business. They won't let you deposit your money there because of the kind of business that it is. So what happens is that these guys, you really don't know how much money they make. They're, they're carrying a lot of cash, which is why that business is quite dangerous because people can like, you know, rob you and things like that. But that's typically what happens in that sort of business. Now, with that being said, Exhibit on the low allegedly is making like seven figures a month in this business. And I can believe it because he's connected. He's in L.A. Nothing but weed there. He probably got in the industry early. But now he he married this chick, Krista Joyner. With her for 20 years, married her for six. Now, what is he doing? He's selling his house. $4 $4 million, 5,700 square foot home, six bathroom, five bedrooms, two kitchens. Wow. Two kitchens. Now, his wife is asking for hella stuff. Okay. She's asking for half of the business. She's asking for ownership of assets because I, I don't know why she feels like she did anything to help him which she probably didn't because if she would she would have helped herself but it's getting ugly his boy Dr. Dre faced the same thing now I, I want to talk about this because you know a lot of guys in the black community talk about how black women will leave you broke how black women can leave you broke. How black women can do this and do that. How black women can, you know, yada, yada, here, here, and this. And then when you see this, what, what is it that I'm, that I'm, I'm trying to miss here? The, the reality is, is that no group of women of color in America are going to love you so much that if they're mad at you, they're not going to take everything. Who do you guys think you are? I don't know why you think as, as American men or black American men that somebody loves you enough to leave you and not take your money. Look at mustard. It's the same thing. Does DJ mustard think that the lady loves him so much? If she loved you that much, she wouldn't do that to you, but she's going to do that to you. Because love has a limit. All right? A limit. A limit. And and, and I see guys praising white women all the time. Like, oh, yeah, got me a white queen. And okay, just wait till she goes to court. We'll find out. And then when we find out, you're going to find out that, hey, that person had nothing to give you in the first place. You've worked hard. They don't have anything. They've never probably had anything. So now what they're looking for is for you to provide all that stuff. Then, oh, yeah, he was supposed to give me half the business looking for money and looking for money to do what? Do you want to know? I'll tell you. They are looking for money 
listen to what I'm about to say. To go find the next guy who most likely you don't like, you hate, who can't give them anything. Listen to this. And then spend your money on them. Have you ever noticed that, guys? I've always told you this. Once you end up dealing with most ladies, okay, <clears throat> the next guy that she deals with, you're married or something else. What do you find out? The next person doesn't have what you did. All right. They don't. They don't have what you have. And that guy is getting more for less. Look, look, look at Chris and Joyner. You know, now his is why she had to give him something, but just look at that situation. What guy's going to come in and give her that money? Nope. In fact, she'll be most likely using that money to deal with a younger guy. And you'll be what? Miserable. You see? Now you're trying to hide money around and all of this stuff. And bro, you're with her for 14 years. I can guarantee you. She was like, look, you need to marry me. Make me a wife. Marry me. Make me a wife. You've been with me. I've been with you for 14 years. Then you feel like, oh, well, you're not been with her for so long. I might as well marry her. I, I get it. Like, I, I would feel pressure to do that, too. But no, no prenup, bro. Like, how did you not do that? You don't have no prenuptial agreement. Do you not have anything that protects you? No, no. And again, I say, you guys don't think about that. Okay. You know, it, it just, it's a situation. So, you know, I, I, I just really want you guys to really think about all the pain and suffering that if you decide to get married, look at the numbers, look at what's happening. Look at all that. Think about that. Think about all the things that you could be getting yourself into by marrying somebody who has nothing to lose. They were extremely dusty before you met them. And now you're fighting for what you've worked for to give it to them. That's so many men in America. So many rich black men in America. You've built this business, all of this, just to be dusty at the end. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. I'm out.